All right guys, so today we are in a new environment. Usually I'm in my room, but today I'm actually in this gym that I made in my garage. In today's video, I'm gonna be telling you about lower chest fat because a lot of guys who watch my videos struggle with the whole chest fat and especially, you know, the whole lower chest fat. It is fat like at the bottom of your chest and it sags and you could be someone who struggles, you know, to even wear a t-shirt, you know, let alone like, go walking around shirtless when it's hot because now summer's around the corner. Simply, you just wanna be confident in a t-shirt. Now, if you're someone who has that lower chest fat, this is gonna be the video for you. So make sure you watch the entire video and I'll be telling you everything that you need to know in order to lose that lower chest fat and get you that physique that you always want, okay? Like I always say in my videos, if you are someone who is struggling to lose fat and wanna work with me, who is someone who's transformed, transform thousands of people around the world click the link in the bio let's get you onto the 90 day sharing plan i know on the website it says 2019 but don't worry about that it's current and it is a program it's going to get you that ripped and shredded physique that you always want to work at plan and diet plan but hey let's get talking about lower chest up let's begin this video i'm going to talk about the diet after but exercising is so important now you can of course work out in the gym or alternatively you can work out at home. Now if you are someone who's gonna work out at home, make sure when it comes to the body with exercises, you are doing exercises like push-ups, you are doing dips, and these kind of exercises are gonna work in the chest. Now, if you are someone who does have a little bit of dollar and wants to invest that money into a gym membership, I will strongly advise that. You know, I'm not I recommend it to have like a little bit of a setup at home because that does cost a little bit of money. I recommend you get a gym membership because you can do a lot more exercises for your chest. Now the first exercise I would recommend you to do is now the bench press. Now of course you can say, oh that's so basic. The importance and the great thing about a bench press is that it works the entire chest. Not just the lower chest but the upper chest and the middle bit of the chest and it is like the number one exercise when it comes to the upper body. So bench press is so important. And if you are someone who struggles with a bench press, like 95% of the bars with the bench press have actually rings. You can actually hold the rings so you know exactly where you are gonna grip the bar, okay? So here, we wanna make sure we get a nice stretch in our chest and back up. I would recommend you to do like five sets, anywhere from eight to 10 reps, okay? and have like a one minute break in between your sets. Okay, so that's the first exercise I would recommend you is now the bench press. Exercise two now is now the dumbbell flies. Now when we are doing the dumbbell flies, make sure we get a nice stretch in our chest and when you come up, you can actually twist the dumbbells inwards and that's gonna focus on your lower chest a lot, okay? And I'm actually gonna be showing you, but it's so important to get that little bit of a twist at the top. Then that's gonna be working your lower chest a lot. So not only working the entire chest, but focusing really on that lower chest. And you can actually do this at home as well. If you just simply lie down and if you have like some light dumbbells, you can just do it and get that twist at the top. That's really gonna be working the lower chest. Next exercise is now the dumbbell press, okay? And exactly what I just said when it comes to the twist, I want you to get that twist at the top when it comes to the dumbbell press as well. That's gonna be working that lower chest, but it's so important to really focus on your form because I don't want you guys to go and pick up the heaviest dumbbells and then you go and you know injure yourself. So make sure you pick a light weight, then over the week you can slowly start increasing the weight as well. Okay, so don't think about oh you know I want to go as heavy as I can and that's it you know around we want to say do this exercise let's go heavy as possible it doesn't work like that now finally after you've done these exercises I will recommend you to do like an incline push up okay so you can do it on a bar like if you have a bar here you can simply go on an incline you can even do it at home on like a sofa so simply have your hands on the sofa and your body's coming down and simply pressing up okay that's the working the lower chest and again you're working the entire chest not just specifically the lower chest. Now it's important to do these exercises because a lot of us when we have a goal to lose weight, we lose weight, yes, but then we become skinny and then we are researching how to lose a whole skinny fat. It is so important to actually build muscle over the process of losing fat because you know, we stop stressing, thinking, oh, I need loads and loads of cardio, I need to eat like little bit of food, like, you know, like salad and chicken or, you know, just literally no, calories at all, that's how I'm gonna lose this fat. In fact, I'll be honest with you, it's actually gonna probably make it worse because now you're gonna be skinny and you're still gonna have a little bit of sagginess because it's like lack of muscle, okay? So it's so important 
to build muscle if you are a guy who is skinny fat who has a lower chest fat or chest fat in general don't just say that's it eating nothing loads of cardio because it's just going to make it worth it please make sure you are prioritizing lifting weights or body weight exercises and actually focusing on building a little bit of muscle on your chest and in fact your entire body that's now actually the next point which is focus on training your entire body not just your chest because I don't want you guys to chest four or five times a week and forget about your legs, your shoulders and your back and you forget about every other body part because you want to build a physique, you don't just want to have you know a little bit of chest because it doesn't work like that okay because like this is a solution which I'm giving you which is going to be for the long term okay for the months down the line so when you get to that point down the line over you know three or four months so make sure you are working out your entire body, not just your chest, because I know, I mean, that's my favorite muscle group. I know a lot of guys, you know, we just love coming to the gym, doing bed press and flies and chest, you know, chest day Monday. Increase your protein intake and just reduce your carbohydrates a little bit. Make sure you still have a carbs in your diet, but let's just increase that protein because now we are gonna start working out and protein is like something which is going to repair our muscles okay so we've broken the muscle down and protein is going to help repair it and grow as well make sure you are eating enough and of course i don't want to talk about loads and loads about the diet but i'm going to try and break it down increase the protein which i've said reduce carbohydrates a little bit and eat healthy and again i know you're going to say what the hell what is healthy okay a pizza you know isn't great for you you know a burger isn't good for you make sure you get a lot of greens on your plate fill your plate up with salad protein you know have some sort of carbohydrates in diet and believe me that is going to be diet which is going to help you because you don't want to be reducing calories really low and also you don't want to be having your calories really high as well so right about in the middle just start maintenance calories or just under is perfect now before i go i'm going to talk about gyno this is another thing which a lot of men suffer with it's like the fat in the nipple underneath the nipple I shouldn't be like athlete next and get on the whole thing, <laughs> the red ball, but it's underneath the nipple, which men tend to have. Now, I wouldn't worry about that for now because a lot of men think that we have gyno when you don't actually have gyno, it's just fat. You need to lose the fat. And then when you get to that point where you've lost the fat, you can see I actually have gyno or 95% of the times it's not gyno, it's just fat, okay? So lose the fat and then after you can see how your body is and what you need to do because simply like to 95% of the times it's just simply fat that you need to lose. So that is a complete guide on how you are gonna lose that lower chest fat, okay? Subscribe to the channel. If you're serious about transforming your physique, click the link in the bio. Let's get you onto the 90 day shredding plan. This is a program which is designed to get ripped and shredded in only 90 days, okay? So hope you have enjoyed this video and I shall see you all in the next video. Peace. <music>